how much power can we make and then sell to all the cities around us and how much money will that ultimately make our city? Well, we're going to unlock every single power production option available to us and really find out the answer to the question, how much power is too much power? Grab a cup of tea, sit back, relax and be ready to enjoy the ride. And if you do, leave a like to show me. It really does help spread these videos further. Without any further ado, let's dive straight in. So here we are back in Kettle Bridge. Ah, uh, yes, very good, very good. Overlooking the little suburb of Leafy or this new little town that we built in the last episode. But today it's going to be all about power. So let's just take a quick look at our power production at the moment. So basically the only thing that's producing power for us is this incinerator plant over here in the corner. And that is only 10.88 megawatts, as we can see up there, 10.9. There might be something else that's producing a tiny amount of power. I can't remember, but that's it. Everything else is being bought in from the outside via this connection over here, which is splitting through our cities. What have we got? Oh, another little connection over there as well. But what I want to do is produce my own power. So we're consuming 206, we're producing 10, the rest is coming in from the outside, which if we check our economy in our services and electricity, that is actually costing us nearly a million credits to do that. So we want to sort of change things up and see how we can improve that. We're gathering some fees from our service fees, but apart from that, it's costing us a million. So we're going to keep all those figures in mind and yeah see how much we can make see how much we can export which is going to mean that we need to just unlock every single one of these because we are going to just try and use all of them wherever we can lots of people have said about putting hydroelectric power plants um along our river which is let's get out of that view something i never actually thought of before whether we could squeeze some of those in if this is a river that's flowing enough we will find out but the piece of land that we're going to use well we need to sort of check which way the wind is blowing and just before we do that a word from our sponsor instant gaming if you like saving money on games instant gaming have fantastic deals on right now please use my affiliate link you can see it on screen and it's in the pinned comment below this link can be used for Steam, PlayStation or Xbox games too with amazing deals. Trending right now is Football Manager 2024. Can you make it at the top? Also the new expansion pack for Sims 4 for rent and a city building game that is getting very popular at the moment, Pioneers of Pagonia. Thank you for your support of my channel. Enjoy the gaming deals and let's get back to the video. So if we check this menu at the top left here, click on air pollution, we do get a little view of which way the wind is blowing. And to be honest, I was thinking of using this section over here at the back and in amongst the trees, you can see the wind is blowing to outside the map. So once we've removed all of these trees, we're gonna have a nice big flat piece of land that we can expand into. So this is something else that we need to keep an eye on. If we have a look at this transformer station, uh, we can see, perhaps we'll see it a little bit clearer in the right up here. So the transformer capacity is 80 megawatts. That is going outside the city and bringing in 80 me megawatts of power at the most under that one. Uh, these cables on their own will take 400 megawatts each if needed and you can have as many connections to the outside as you wish with these and they get you some xp as well so that is an exponential amount of energy that we can import in from the outside so we can build as many of these as we like and export the amount of power that we like so that is actually looking pretty fantastic right the space is ready so let's start with i'm thinking let's go straight in for the nuclear power plant and pop that in the back here that is pretty large isn't it so what we're going to do is we are going to place in some rows that we can build up against there we go wow that is a big building oh it's got three ways of exporting power which is interesting um how many employees 134 so not as many as i thought a million a month okay we'll keep that in mind and then we want to see if we actually start the game how much power that is going to be 750 megawatts so let's grab these 
let's go straight for there we go let's go straight for getting all of these hooked to outside the map there we go. Might as well do all of them. I don't know what this little bit of concrete is that's here. Very weird, but there we go. So now these should all be exporting at power. They are excellent. And as you can see, we're pretty much exporting all of it, which is good because we're only using just a little bit ourselves. Excellent. Uh, we need now I'm thinking that this is going to end up using a lot of water. Um, so we've got to keep an eye on that as well. But let's get this hooked up. Uh, the water should be hooked up. Hooked up to there, hooked up to there, hooked up to the rest of the grid. Have we already got, not got enough water? Water availability. Okay. Well, let's plop something in here that's going to help us with that. Uh, wastewater treatment plant, advanced water pumping station from lakes, rivers, and other bodies of surface water and pump it into the city's networks. We don't have the ability to unlock that. I don't want to use the groundwater. Uh, pumping so it might just be we have to go for the water tower and get those around oh i tell you what is there any upgrades in here that could help us with that no upgrades at all what not even like a second tower use less water or anything like that opportunity missed well never mind uh let's pop some of these in then i'm gonna say maybe just along the side here yeah there we go we need a lot of those i know that these aren't uh the most cost effective way of getting water oh dear we've got problems over there i'll check that out in a sec <laughs> oh dear but we're going to use those i'm not overly worried about my monthly income just looking at what the power is going to cost us let me just sort out this problem over here and a handy little wastewater treatment plant has sorted that for us okay back over to here yep everybody's happy excellent so 878 it has gone up because our efficiency has gone up. Excellent. And we've got all the employees have already moved over here. Okay, fantastic. So we'll do a little bit of detailing as we go along. And we'll add parking in and all sorts of things like that when we get there. Very good, very good. I'm going to leave this space down here for that. Right, what else could we just add at the back here? Well, we had our water geothermal. Yeah, this one here which I really want to get right over the top of this water source. So let's delete that. Let's get that placed up against there so we know it's sort of square. And pop that there and see what that one is going to do for us. Where is the exporting going to be? The exporting is going to be that side. So I'll tell you what, we are going to turn this one around. There we go. Actually, it's not really done it square. Yep, it is now. Excellent. Hang on. Oh, it's left like the little line there. That's weird. I want it facing this way. Yeah, there we go. That's what we want. So we'll do that. Yeah, there we go. Very good. Because then what we can do once we've got this hooked up with the road is we can run that straight out the back to this city. I wonder what this city's called over here that's getting all this uh, power from us. Apparently, it's just called outside connection electricity. It's not going to a certain city. Okay, fair enough. Um, so this is a four-lane row. We're just going to run that around the outside of this. There we go. We'll go for a little something like that just to make it look interesting. Let's see what we're getting out of this one. And this does have some upgrades as well. So that's the cost of month. Uh, not enough employees yet to be speed things up. I'm sure they'll move in. 160 almost megawatts. We're using all of it. Oh, auto save. Have a quick sip of tea. Ah, now that's interesting because these wires, as we saw before, can only output 400. Oh, I keep thinking it's only output 80. <sighs> Biffers brain. So technically then we are outputting all of that, uh, which is great. Let's look at these upgrades here. To use lower geothermal temperatures increases power output somewhat. <laughs> we will add that on. Uh, what do we have here? Additional turbine increases power output, adds another power line connection. Okay, that's interesting. That is going to add over here. Yeah, let's add that on. High voltage substation allows for new power lines to be built from the plant. So that will be um, probably not needed because we've got these power lines. And I'm just wondering whether, I mean, that will do 400. This is making 345. So unless that drastically drops up, we are literally, we can export all the power from that, which is great. Cool. Okay, so now we've taken care of that because we know that needed to go there. Maybe let's have a look at, ooh, gas power plant, battery station. If you want to keep some power ourselves, maybe. I really want to look at the hydroelectric power plant. Or why don't we do the solar power plant next? Let's do that. How much are these costing? 1.5 million. Good grief, these things are huge. And we can have in as many of these as we like, I'm assuming. 
battery output 15 megawatt 200 megawatt roic 200 up to 200 megawatt all of it comes from the battery right okay and where's the power connector on these it looks like it's down here at the back so i mean they're probably gonna have to go along the back here they could even just go off of this road let's have them go in sideways up here like this oh so if we can fit two in there okay we've got one in there Yep, that's good. And then we can fit some more down here. So that's going to be right up against that, like this. Because what I'm thinking of doing is, if we just bring that along there, is connecting up the power lines going along here, which I think will work. Let's pop in three. Um, I don't want to get right up next to it. Oh, I'll tell you what. Let's have a look. What upgrades have these got? Ah, they've got upgrades. And as for new power lines to be built from the plant, let's see what the power it makes first. Uh, automatically turn to keep poison at the sun. Bish. Got to do that. Uh, i'll do that one in a minute increase electricity storage capacity no we do not want to be storing it we just want to be making of the power 262 that's fine this power line oh 262 twice yeah they're not all, all going to be able to go into one power line are they hmm so maybe if we bring i'm gonna have so many i mean it might be that after all of this i sort of tidy up and sort out all the power line things that we've got going on um so if we do that at least we know exactly what is going out and that'll be good so charging flow 263 261 yeah so that'll be okay we've got both the upgrades excellent okay why don't we have a look at the hydro whatever damn thing after i've just checked what's going on up here oh this is like the every episode i normally do this before i start there's always a dead building there there's always a dead building somewhere along there um let's have a look over here oh it's this all the way over here we've got a dead building that will grow back in and that will be fine any other dead buildings anywhere i think we're okay yep we're okay everybody's really happy aren't they They're, oh no there's two more dead buildings well we'll get rid of those that one there wasn't happy and this one down here wasn't happy excellent very good very good okay so Let's have a look over at our river and just see whether this is even going to be possible. If we look at the way the river flows, hmm, are we going to start accidentally flooding areas? That's the question. Right, just so we don't flood absolutely everything, why don't we pick a little bit where there seems to be a reasonable water flow? I mean, unfortunately, the flow all just seems a bit weird. <laughs> I was just going to pick like a small bit like this and just see how it works um so that's saying it'll possibly get about 70 all right let's just pop that on there um needs connection via roads we can do that there we go roads are connected what have we got going on here ah so we've got some big power connections going on there and let's just speed things up a bit so i'm wondering whether this is going to sort of fill up one side more than the other or give and give any issues we shall find out we shall find out and then that could literally just connect in there and that one doesn't need to but we'll do that one as well just because and we'll see we click on there so efficiency one percent 2.7 kilowatts that is not what you led me to believe we would be getting i'm assuming that's because of the very much lack of water flow uh, that is going through here can we change that which way round is this working I'm thinking it's flooding, going in that way and coming out this side. So I'm just wondering whether if we drop the wall, uh, drop the, the surface underneath a little bit, that we can help things out. Let me grab that bit there. So if we click on this, 60, oh, there we go. Immediately we've made a difference, 60, 50, 60. And I think that was more or less the amount it said it could do. It only have, oh, that's nuclear power plant uh oh twenty thousand it can do up to huh okay how low can we go <laughs> that's like my very next thought that is as low as i can go i'm i'm there so when we've got that height there and then this one here we sort of want to raise this side up a bit so let's get that right up against there nice and high and i think between that and the dot and the and the dip the drip the, the drop <laughs> what am i trying to say it's like dropped it right back down again now. Mm. Oh, okay. I've just moved this lower land all the way through. So all the way through, it's a lot lower. 
which I suppose has made this a little bit taller and it got up to like 200 which is you know not too bad at all that's 20,000 yeah we could do better <sighs> where are we going to do it without messing things up what about okay we're just we're, we're in experimenting mode now what about if we do this let's go along here Okay, I've just got one, two, three, four, six in here. Just to see how they go, I've got a road. They're not connected up to the power grid or anything like that because I'm not thinking these are going to do absolutely brilliant. Uh, let's see what happens. There doesn't seem to be any... Oh, I thought there was upgrades for these. There doesn't seem to be any upgrades for these. Okay, that's fine. Um, so what are we getting? I'm not looking. We're getting 1.5, 1.3... Zero, <laughs> 0.6. We're not getting much at all, are we? Uh, yeah, I think we need to find somewhere where the water drops down a lot and we can yeah, get more out of it than this little teeny tiny one here, which is doing 8.8 .8 kilowatts. Okay, we do have this little piece of land right here that has some high hills on either side. And I wonder whether we can manip manipulate the terrain to work in our favor. Unfortunately, we don't have any pumps for like spitting out water um unless i'm completely missing something that that sucks up the water that's a water tower groundwater pump station that's just advanced things sewage outlet i don't, I don't want to do that uh, yeah so let's just see whether we can manipulate the land over here a bit to make like a really tall area where we can block in the water and then we could just, I'll smooth that out in a minute. And then we could just like maybe build across from there to there like this. I mean, that says that's going to give us nearly 2,000. If we just pop that in. Yeah. And then if we dip the water down, uh, dip the land down this way as low as it will go. Right click until it stops. There we go. Then right click there. Grab that side and drop all this down. See whether that, whoa, too big. See whether that helps. Okay, let's see. What are we getting? Click, click, clickety click. What are we getting out of that? Nothing. Let's actually start the game. See whether that works. That is very high. I'm thinking that this is only going to work if the water is up here. Darn it. That is just not going to work, is it? Yeah, it sounds like it's rushing out. There's nothing rushing out. You're fooling me. You're foxing me. Well, I think, uh, unless you can think of any other ideas, there's no way we're going to get a hydroelectric power plant working to a decent amount on a flat map like this all right well let's concentrate on what we can fit in here the next one coal power plant here yeah, we've done the geothermal so that's going to give us 300 megawatts low and high um so i'm thinking we maybe want to we could hook it into this line that's out here so let's just get a little separate section coming off of this one pretty big isn't it that is pretty big i'm gonna overhang that at the back there we've got the cables coming out this side which there was a way of clicking on one of these and seeing exactly how much uh was traveling through it that would be a heck of a lot easier wouldn't it um so what i'm gonna do i think is i'm gonna delete this because we don't need that anymore we don't need that anymore let's delete that one as well and then if we come over the top here yeah so we'll do it this way so we can keep it all 90 degrees because I just feel like I have to, 90 degrees, and then we're going to come up the side here. Yeah, go, go, go. Thank you kindly. And we'll bring this one up, 92, 91, 90. Thank you very kindly. And then we'll just go straight out the back there. Excellent. So this one here is giving us 300. You didn't say that much, did it? 350. Oh, we could have multiple ones of these as well. Good grief. 300, it said. But this is apparently already 117%, 32 employees, and we can bump it up with a load of stuff as well. What are these upgrades going to give us? Let's take a look. So coal storage yard, that just seems like it's absolutely huge. <laughs> Good grief. Overlapping items, that is going to be overlapping all over the place. Um, I am going to put that over here, and then we're going to move our cables over. So I'm going to use Anarchy to pop that in. Oh, it's not going to allow me to pop it in even with anarchy. It will if I move over a little bit. There we go, because I think that's going to be okay. 
yeah, that's going to be fine. Excellent. So that's up to our storage. Yeah, very good, very good. Oh, we can have multiple ones of these. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. Additional turbine, an extra 100 megawatts. Whoa, we're going to add that in. I'm assuming that's just one. Wow, that is a lot. Ah, now we're over the amount of... Nope, we're back under the amount of power. <laughs> What's this one do? Uh, more efficient burn process allows the same power output with less fuel. Yeah, we'll add that in. Reduces the air pollution produced by the plant. We'll add that in. There we go. So it's dropped down now to 340. It suddenly jumped up to like well over the amount one of these cables could do. But that is okay. Usage 100%. What are we outputting now? We are outputting 2,100. Good gravy. That is a heck of a lot. It's still importing 200, which I don't understand. You would think we would use our own first. But anywho, that is looking good. And... That is like all the ones that we can use, apart from the teeny tiny small ones. Gas power plant. We don't have a gas power plant in here. Oh, where could we squeeze that in? I'm actually going to place that over here at an angle just to add a bit of interest to the area. We can build out the back with one of these, no problem. So we'll do that as well. We can add a road in. Where could that go? Along here like this. I forgot there's upgrades for these as well. What does that do? Sightseeing. Oh, okay. Entertainment value. I mean, why not have that on this one? Maybe let's have a look at that. Oh, yeah, look at that. So you can come over here and look around. All the, <laughs> the smoke and the lovely stuff going on over here. Very nice, very nice. Okay, let me just hook... Whoop, jip, blah, blah, blah. Let me just hook this thing up. Okay, there we go. We'll work on the terraforming in a moment. So what can we add on here? 290. Is that going to go up? 290. Okay, so we've got more fuel storage. Oh, I like these. I like the look of these. Could we fit like right by the railway line? Doesn't seem like a fantastic idea to me. What else are we going to be adding on here? So this uh, burns. Yeah, okay. Same as the other one with less fuel, less air pollution additional turbine so that's going to go right on here and what's that going to give us an extra more power less fuel doesn't really say so we'll add that and then that means we've got space for these around the back which is what i was checking so we could just add a couple of these onto here there we go i think that would go okay like i said i'll terraform in a bit and what are we getting out of this one? Oh, look at that we're literally just shy of what this one cable now we're over now we're doing 410 and we can't get any more cables out of this, can we? So that... Oh, hang on. Is this another... There's another cable there. Did I miss what one of the upgrades did? We'll add that one in. Now we're definitely 100% able to export all of that if we need to. I'm just going to tidy up the land a bit. There we go. That'll do nicely. Got a bit of a retaining wall there. Oh, we need to put our power cables back on because I removed those for the building. We'll get that straight across there. Output to there. Excellent. So that's all the ones we can build in here. But of course, we can build multiple, can't we? Let's check uh, how things are going over here on our services at the moment. So we're now exporting and making over 6 million. Uh, the maintenance is... Uh, really? That is a heck of a lot of maintenance, isn't it? I mean, if we just work that up to 100, we're going to get a few more fees in. But I know that's not really going to please the people that live here. So I'm going to leave that on 70%. But that is a huge jump in the export. But I mean, we can we can literally add as many of these as we want around here. So could we just build this up and make it into a super mega power complex? Question mark. I reckon with a little bit of jiggery pokery, we could get another gas power plant in this gap here. It's going to mean doing something with these cables here. So let's just get rid of those. Let's just slide that in there. Yeah, and that fits in perfectly. Yeah, this is going to be like a Jenga, whatever, Tetris puzzle. There we go. If we do that, and then this one here, where the heck's that one going to go? We're going to have to bring that one along the main road here to then go out. I can't connect it to that. We're trapped. We're trapped. There's no way we can get this one out unless we manoeuvre this a little bit you know what i am actually going to maneuver that we're going to pop that down here instead there we go very good and then we can run this cable out this way there we go excellent and then we can just run this one out this way very good 
We'll come back to sort out the wires afterwards. You should be okay. What's your issue? What's your problem? You're connected to a road. The road's got the power. The road's got the water. You've got the same upgrade. Oh, we've got not enough water. Is that the issue? Uh, yeah, we're running out of water again. All right, we're going to get some pumps in this time. Actually, no, we're not. We're going to go for some ground water pumping station. I've got the right one here. Yeah, that should just give us the right amount we need. Or maybe five of them. Yep, that's working fine. Uh, I think these have some upgrades as well, don't they? So greatly reduced amount of pollutants. We'll do that anyway because it's going to give us XP. Uh, increase the water take delivery capacity. I will do that on all of these. Oh, there we go. What a lovely place to work. That's taking care of our water needs. Excellent. Right, let's get back over here. What else? I am thinking about another, another nuclear power. I just want to see how far we can push this. Could we just literally, that's a coal power plant. Could we just literally keep on pushing and pushing? We can't do another nuclear power plant. Well, the next biggest one then is going to be the coal power plant. And I'm thinking that we could possibly pop some of those in a back-to-back -back configuration over here. Yoink. If we turn that one around this way, again, we're going to need to sort of sort out some of our cables and things. But try and sort of line these up in a way. Let's go like that. That makes it work. Let's see what we can do. Okay, with the space that we've got over here and with the amounts of power these are going to be producing. So this one definitely needs at least two connections coming off of it. We've got one there and one here, which means this one will need two as well. And this was the one that this one was connecting to. We're sort of running out of space um, of where to run our power cables. So I'm going to connect that one up to there. Um, is this one producing 460? So that definitely needs two connections as well. I'm now thinking of running some of our connections up here. Um, we can actually do them underground, can't we? Oh, I'd completely forgotten about that. Um, I'll tell you what we're going to do then. We're going to delete that one there. We are going to run some of these underground. And that's just going to solve all of our problems. So if we go like, yeah, if we go sort of halfway down this road here. And then we can just go, can we connect outside underground? Let's turn Anarchy off. So is that connected outside? Yep, we got the, yep, outside electricity. Brilliant, that solves the problem. Let me get these all sorted. Right, we're now up to 3,290 odd megawatts being exported. We are storing 100 megawatts per hour in our own little batteries. I think are built in over here or something like that. But <laughs> it's pretty nuts. That is a lot. Um, we are making on our electricity 8, 8 million. 8 million a what? Is that like 8 million a month? 8 million a year? 8 million every other Tuesday? It doesn't really say. But that is absolutely nuts. Our monthly budget monthly balance plus 66 million a month plus 2.7 million an hour this is unbelievable and i feel like we could just push this even further i just want to keep going i just want to keep on adding in more and more items if i put that in there we could export that out and that will sort of fit nicely alongside there let's we'll, we'll do this one underground why not there we go so that just gives us another load. Uh, what did we... Just did the middle one, didn't we? We'll just do the middle one on that one. Has that got some external things? Oh, I like external things. I don't want to store capacity. I want to sell it. I don't like those external things. We could do another one next to here. I'm just going to I'm just gonna keep going. I'm just going to see what we can fit in, which we can't fit that in, and see what we get to. I'm going to stop at the tree line here, I think, so we're not encroaching on the farm. Okay, filled a few more gaps. We've got three of the small coal power plants down here, which are all hooked up. And that has added another, they only do sort of 20, 23-ish each. So that's not a huge jump. Then we've got a couple more of the gas power plants, fully upgraded, 400, just over slightly 400 each, which is good. And they're all hooked up. And I was just looking through, because I was thinking of sort of filling some of these places around here with some interesting buildings and we've got these industrial now where were they manufacturing here we go these industrial manufacturing buildings and they look really cool some of these larger ones as well let's go what's the largest we've got six by six 
these are pretty nice looking buildings uh, they're not snapping there we go snapping um i'm gonna have to obviously zone underneath these once they're in but maybe we could put in some interesting looking buildings in some of these little extra spots that we've got like that yeah and then once you've done that if you just do the zone underneath oh no okay yeah we still have to be careful with these and make sure that we pop them in somewhere Mm, where well, there's a full okay don't do that where well, there's a full enough zone to take them because we're not using the ploppable mod so for instance yeah that could go like there no problem at all and then we could zone that yeah and that would be okay and we start getting some of those in but some of these buildings i mean when you get up to the level scroll 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 level five six by six i mean they look quite nifty what are some of these manufacturing O2. I bet these are quite big as well. Level 5, 6 by 6. Yeah. So I'm thinking of just going through, fishing out some of these, dotting them around to sort of add a little something, something to our area, along with some extra car parking as well for all of our visitors. Just decorating everything up and we've had a bit of an emergency. Let's pause. We're getting power station overload. This power station cannot produce enough electricity to match current demand. What? And they're all saying it. What the heck? Well, we're shipping most of it out. What is the demand problem? Ah, oh, I think I know what it is. I think I know what it is. Let's have a look over here. Yes, this is what the problem is. So we've got power coming in from the outside. How, does it, how is this working? So I'm producing power here. We're sending some of it into the city and the rest outside. But these ones are complaining down here because this is basically saying we've got an electricity bottleneck. So you can see that cable there, the electricity, and it's running in this way. Uh, let's just switch to the cable so there we go which is coming through these now if that was running the other way i would think the city's trying to send it outside okay if i turn off this will that stop the bottleneck it does maybe that's what we need to do is just turn off our transformer stations because we're not going to be shipping power in from the outside anymore and then everybody's complaining over there okay we'll get there we'll get there um was there another transformer station here there was so we don't want these to be used shipping power in we want to use our own power which means if we're going to get that into the city which is, what do we need? What does the city actually need? 310. So we could siphon off from one of these, no problem at all, to a transformer. And that would just take our city's demand, no problem, hopefully, question mark. Let's just see whether I'm being a complete numbskull here and whether that will work. If we go underground, overlapping items, we'll go down, nope. Let's go straight. Let me place somewhere. It's not letting me place it anywhere. Okay. We go down. Then we go along. Then we go to there. Is that connected? Yeah, maybe. Let's just see whether that's going to be okay. And I think we're actually going to need a few transformers, aren't we? Uh, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Whoa, jumpy game. Auto save. I'm going to set up a little transformer bank over here. I think that's going to work better. Let's delete that. And then let's grab like just a normal road. I'm gonna have it set back because we're gonna make it look a bit more a bit more different. That's proper English there for you folks. Uh, transformer. Let's go one, two, three. I'm just thinking, what are these? These are only 80, which are the ones in the road. So I don't want all of those connected like that. Oh, we're really going to have to think about this, aren't we now? So I'll tell you what we're going to do is we're going to have a transformer station over here, which is going to connect to one of these. There we go. That'll take power over there for anybody that needs it. Then we've got these ones, which are not letting me connect to there. There we go. Let me connect underground, which we can connect to oh we've literally put them right over the underground power cables one sec okay and moved them a little bit further down so we'll do this underground so we'll get the large one there and add it to there add that to there so that will bring some power in there some power down there and uh, we basically want to make sure that it's just not all going through that road 
which is the issue. We're still all complaining about power. Okay, then we can add another one over here somewhere onto these roads by the farms. Let me see if we can find a good spot for that. What about right down along here? Yeah, that would be good. If we just turn off, let's downgrade this key road off of there. No, it's not letting me do it. Right click, remove the key road. No, even with anarchy on, not removing the key road. All right, we need to make that retaining wall elevated tunnel normal. <laughs> Come on, game. Come on. One of you, any one of you, if you could just work, that'd be great. Do you know what? I'm just going to redraw it in. There we go. That will do. We'll pop another transformer on here, and then we can run a cable above ground. There we go. Excellent. From this one. And that will run all the way along the back here by the farms. 180, I just want to get 180 degrees. And there's absolutely no point because we're going up here. And then we'll connect that somewhere in here. I'm going to bring it there and then we'll just go underground again. And I want to hook that into one of the big underground cables, which we've got one there. Let's grab that. So that's going to split it out a little bit further that way. Let's just unpause and see how it's going. Still struggling <laughs> to get it all through. Ah! I'll tell you what, we're going to delete this connection here. I didn't even think about this, about when we're sending all this power back into the city that we're just producing so much that all of these people are like freaking out because it ain't working. Let's just take this cable away. We don't need that. So that will get rid of that symbol. Well, it would do if I deleted the right cable. Uh, let's just get rid of this cable here, which is the actual power cable. There we go. So we're not trying to send stuff uh, over there when we don't need to. We don't need that one anymore. Excellent. So that should get rid of that and all the water should come back over here. Yep, that will sort itself out in a minute. Okay, so no symbols there. We've got a symbol over here. This is going to be a little bit nuts, isn't it, while we work out what's going on here. Um, so we connect one of these over here so it's not just all going down there. It's a little bit of whack-a-mole, a little bit of whack-a-mole, and then we probably need to add another one of these in somewhere as well. Okay, I think we're okay. Everybody's happy. I've just turned these ones back on again, and that seems to have spread it out enough that we haven't got any weird symbols. We're fine, and we're nearly at 90,000 people. Oh, look at that. We're just about to hit the next milestone as well. I bet if I plopped a couple of parks down. Ah, there we go. Expansive Metropolis. Fantastic. Even more squares, even more points. So, oh, we've got two to go to get to Megalopolopolis. That is brilliant. Oh, man, what can we do? We've got 22 points left. Is there anything? I may, I, you know what, I'm going to grab that. I think that'll be very handy. And then we'll save our other points. So let me know what you think we should unlock. We're just having a quick look through. There's not much left, is there? There is not much left. I'm thinking that advanced water, whatever it was, advanced water pumping station would actually be very handy in here somewhere because we are using a heck of a lot of water. We could just absolutely place that. Oh, hang on a sec. Advanced water pumping station. It needs to be on the edge by the water. Oh, we won't worry about that right now. That's fine. Yeah, rewind. But there we go. Yeah, there we go. Look, I've added in... We've got lots of little buildings around here. We've got lots of parking, added in lots of trees. We've added in a park maintenance building and a couple of parks in the middle. A little section down here with some industry as well. This place is pumping out the pollution. We've got the uh, big parking as well. We've got lots of people going to be working up here. Extra parking around the back over here. Not quite sure how many people are going to use this. Um, we'll see because the jobs on here are only 134, which is... Uh, not quite as much as that, but yeah, we will get some mass transit out here. I haven't done that yet, but what are the figures? That is what we're all wanting to see. So overall, we are outputting, let's have a look, 4,335 on Yieldy Trade, and we're still importing a tiny amount. I think that's just going to, that's just the way the game works. I don't know why, but there we go. Money-wise, is going through the roof. Let's have a look on here. Wow, we're making nearly 11 million by exporting, which is just absolutely completely nuts. If you take off that, it's about 10 million, isn't it? Give or take a few quid quidus here and there. 65 plus million a month. That is nuts. How much an hour? 2.7 million an hour. 
wow that's amazing and i actually think with all these different buildings and things that we've added in here this just looks like a super duper mega power station what do you reckon let me know in the comments leave a like if you enjoy the video as well and then check out the next one that's on the screen i'm sure you will love that thank you for all of your support i will see you all soon for the next one have a great day bye bye